One of the great things that I learned at Northwestern and I've really tried to do through my career is be open to the fact that the end game is not a straight path. When people describe me as a path breaker, it's amazing to me, but I also recognize that it was an important part of my journey. You know, being a young girl in Florence, South Carolina, in most of my classes, I was the only black person in there. And from that point, I always knew that whether I liked it or not, I was standing for something. How I, you know, represented my family, my community, meant something. And so that kind of went through all of my jobs, whether that was at the Washington Post, whether that was as chief counsel of the Federal Communications Commission, working on the Obama administration transition, whether that's now managing partner at my law firm. I also sit on two public company boards. I recognize that that is not a regular pathway, but at each moment I always thought about it not as who am I, but who am I to others to make it easier for others coming behind me to say, well, she did it, of course it's doable. The question that I get a lot is how do you have the confidence? And her name is Joanne Smith, she is my mom. We always went home and knew that we were loved, we were supported, even now my mom lives with us, on the days where like, I'm not having a great day, I'm like, hubby out of the way, kids out of the way, where's my mom, you know? Um, and we talk, and she's like, it's always gonna be okay. Another question that I uh, get a lot is, how do you balance your life? I always make sure that my family comes first. I am a mother of two, you know, really great kids. Morgan, who is 12, and Quinn, who is 10. My husband's a partner at Wild Gotchel, so we have a pretty crazy life, and it is a great life. I think they're now getting to the age where they actually realize that what I do might be kind of important, and that I'm not just the Uber driver, snack driver, even though that's still my most important job for them. But you have your family, you have your friends, you have your colleagues. You just have to be prepared, ready, and open, and just take it on, and know that it may not be a straight path, but it'll be the path for you. So my husband and I decided this past year to fund an endowed scholarship for the law school because it was very important to us to give back to the school in the way that the school gave back to me. I also think that there's no substitute for actually giving your time. Having people see me on campus, having people see what I've done is incredibly important, but it's also a challenge to my classmates to provide that access to the people behind us and to hopefully be mentors and role models to those who may not necessarily have that or may have it, but need something from people who've gone through the same experience that they did. My success has come because I did the curves. I left the law firm and went in-house. I left in-house and went to the government. Then I came back to a law firm, and none of that was wrong. And I'd like to think I'm a perfect example of ending up in a really great place where I'm hopefully making a great change, not only for my firm, but also in our industry.